Cole's Healthy Kicks is back on your screen. Put your hand in the huddle. Three, two, one, go team. Coles and AFL have partnered to bring this program to you to help make health and fitness go from this to this. Join us each afternoon as some of your favourite AFL and AFLW superstars teach us some tips and tricks of how we can keep our energy fuel tank full. Pods is back today to take our balance to the next level. So grab your water and let's head over to AFL Max. Yes, we are back here at AFL Max Bianca. Thanks for throwing to us. Yep, today's session, balance and footwork. Now I'm doing my best here to balance in the Swiss ball and I'm gonna get off before I fall over and injure myself and I can't take you through the session. So Swiss ball over there, we don't need it today. We've been getting some great feedback and some awesome photos of you guys working on balance. So keep them coming through. We're loving it. Any other suggestions that you wanna do as well, keep sending them through. We're absolutely loving it. So. Today, as you can see, I'm not wearing any shoes, all right? The idea here is that when you wear shoes, shoes are really good and actually help your balance. What we're gonna do today is train your balance. So what we're gonna do is make it a little bit harder for you. So if you're wearing shoes at the moment, good news, take them off. You can wear your socks, you can do this in bare feet, and that's how we'll start, okay? We will need your shoes for later, so just keep them by the side like mine are just over here. Also, like we do every session, have your water bottle, your exercise mat, and a footy ready to go. Now I trust that you've been warmed up and you've done some exercise already and you've got that blood flowing. So let's just get straight into our balance exercises. First exercise is called imaginary balance beam. That's right. Now most of you, like me, don't have a balance beam, but we're gonna pretend we do, okay? So all we're doing is I'm gonna use my mat here. You can use a towel at home or a piece of rope, whatever you want. Is basically, is pretend there's a balance beam on the edge of the mat. Yeah, okay. And all we're doing is we're taking a step forward, try and touch our toes to the heel every time, and just balancing. All right? So forwards all the way to the end of the mat, and then all the way backwards, okay? So bare feet or with your socks on, try and keep your balance and maintain that imaginary balance beam. All right, let's just do one more lap up and back of that. All right, we're just getting switched on, getting ready for our balance and footwork session. All right. Nice. How would you go doing this if there was a big drop down one side here? It'd be pretty scary. I'm actually scared of heights, by the way. So let's not talk about it. I don't know why I brought it up. Silly. All right, next time we go up and back, I want you to have the ball. If you don't have a ball, just have your hands above your head, okay? So looking forward this time, just one foot in front of the other. Pretend you're on a balance beam, nice and controlled, ball above your head, and then Backwards going the other way. All right, bare feet. Balance is so important for injury prevention. And AFL and AFLW players basically do balance exercises every day they train. So the next one is, we're gonna start on one end of the mat and all we're doing is jumping to the side and landing on one foot, okay? Same deal, I want you to hold your footy. We're gonna try and use the footy for most of today's session. All right, so all we're doing is feet shuttle with apart, jumping to the side and landing on that outside leg. Stick it for two seconds. Back up, rightio, back the other way, jumping, landing on one leg, standing up, good. All right, let's go again. Jumping to the side, land on one leg, balance, and stand up, all right. You getting the hang of it? Jump to the side, land on that outside leg, balance, hold that footy, good job. All right, we're gonna do 10 of these from now on. Stick it every time, holding that ball. Jump to the side, land on the outside leg. Jump to the side, landing on the outside leg, and keep that balance, hold that footy. Nice work. Here we go. Jump to the side, land on one leg. That's three, nice work. Other way, jump, land on the left leg. Oh, all right. Jump, all right, that's five. How are we going? Nice work. We're doing this as a team, aren't we? And jump, land. All right, four to go. Four to go, jump to the side, land on that outside leg. Bounce the ball if you can. Three to go, jump, land on that outside leg. Good job. Two to go team, two to go. Stay switched on now, jump to the side, land on the outside leg. Good, and one more. Jump to the side, land on the outside leg. Yeehaw. 
One more balance exercise to go before we move on to our footwork. Now, you're gonna need a seat of some sort. I'm gonna use my bench as my seat, but if you've got a couch at home, a bed, a kitchen chair, I want you to grab it or go and sit on your couch. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit up and do some balance work off the back of that. Starting seated, holding the ball in our hands. We're standing up, balancing on one leg, and then hopping forward twice and then sticking. Okay, how's that? All good? Right, let's get into it. So, sitting down. Now, if you can sit up, holding the ball in both hands, that's ideal, and put the ball out in front of you. All right, when we hop forward. So, standing up, ball out in front, hop forward, stick. Oh, come on, pods. Good. Walk back, holding the ball both hands, stand up, right leg, hop forward, one, two, stick. Nice work. All right, walk back. Let's do it again. Holding the ball forward, squat up, one leg, left leg, hop forward, stick. Good job. How are we going? All right, back down, squat up, right leg, hop forward twice, stick. Nice work. All right, we got six more. Let's go. Sitting, standing up, one leg, up, land, and stick. Good job. Really good for the balance. Good for those ankles and knees. Standing up, right leg, hop forward twice, and stick. Oh, nearly lost it. I'm getting tired. Come on, help me through. Rightio, four more. This time, last four reps, See if you can stand up on one leg rather than using two legs, all right? So it looks a little bit like this. So one leg up, standing on one leg, right? And then forward, stop. Good job. It's pretty tricky. If you can nail this, you might be a future AFL, AFLW player. Who knows? Right, right leg, single leg. Stand up, oh, and forward twice, stick. Oh, yes, didn't lose it. Two more. See if you can do it single leg. If you can't, double leg's great. Single leg, stand up, and forward twice. One, two, stick it. Do it with a smile. Last one, here we are. Standing up, right leg, single leg, hopping forward. One, two, and we're done. Okay, time to get a drink. Let's put our runners on and we're gonna get straight into our footwork drills. First exercise, you're gonna need your ball. Now, with the space you've got, I don't think we're gonna need our mat here. So just move the mat over to the side, get it out of the way completely. And start with, let's put the ball right in the middle of your space that you've got. Okay, so remember, these next five exercises are 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Right, so the first one is, is just some jogging. And when I say go, you need to step over your ball, all right? So it's jogging, jogging, go, step over your ball. Jogging, jogging, go, step over your ball. Three, two, one, jogging. Here we go, we're jogging on the spot, go, over your ball. Get those knees up, jogging, go, whoa, over the ball. Keep going, keep going, jogging, go. Step over that ball, jogging, go. Step over the ball, jogging, go. Keep going, halfway, jogging, go, over the ball. Push off that outside leg, good footwork drill. Jogging, go, step over the ball. Nice work. Come on team, jogging. Go, over the ball. Let's do it. Last one, jogging and over the ball. And rest. Now, you're gonna need your footy, all right? And this one's called random ball drops, all right? So a little bit of space is necessary, but not a lot. So you can do this in your lounge room, your bedroom, or your garage. But all we're doing is we're dropping the ball from about, oh, let's call it chest height. And wherever it goes, you need to pounce on it like a tiger, all right? That's the idea like a Richmond Tiger for these of you Tiger supporters out there. So, all we're doing is dropping the ball, whichever way it goes, pounce on it, all right? Pounce on it as quick as you can. So all the footwork drills that we've been doing is all about reaction, okay? That's what this drill's about. If the ball bounces right in front of you, fine, that's good. The idea is get onto the ball as quick as you can, so use your feet to get there. All right, we've got 30 seconds, two sets. Time starts now. Good. Make sure the ball bounces. Ready, go. Good, get onto it. Don't let it bounce twice. And go. Oh, oh that was an easy one there. That was almost cheating, I felt. Oh, easy one. Nice. Out in front of you, let it bounce. Oh, there it is. Use that footwork. What we've been work, working on. Oh, to the left. Nice. Last one. Good. All right, how was that? Rest. Good job. 30 seconds. 
Exercise three for agility is agility squares. So let's just set this one up. You're gonna need four items, all right? I'm gonna use a water bottle. All right, I'm gonna use my footy. All right, I might use a hat. And I'm gonna use this massage ball I've got here as well. So if you can just sort of see my setup, I want you to set up something similar. The idea is to just set up a square, okay? Is all we want. All right, same deal, agility squares. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Around one way and then back around the other way. So all it is is forwards, we're always facing the screen, okay? So once you always face me, I always face the camera and all we're doing is shoulders straight, out there, side to side, back, side to side, stop and we're back down the other way, okay? And back around. So 30 seconds is what we're doing. Ready, 30 seconds, go. Side to side, backwards, always face forwards. There, back the other way. Forwards, side to side, quick feet, good. Forwards, side to side, backwards, side to side, and back the other way. What way is this? This is anti-clockwise, isn't it? And then this way, clockwise, good. Side to side, back, side to side, good. Keep working, 30 seconds. Come on, let's get another lap in. Forward, oh, nearly rolled my ankle. We're still going, good. And one more, finish off the other way. Side to side, good, and rest. Whew. All right, shake those legs out. Okay, exercise number four. What we're gonna do here is you're gonna need to start on your back in a bit of space, all right? So these are just called footy get-ups, all right? So what I want you doing is holding your football, right? And all we're doing is we're getting up as quick as we can and looking to handball, okay? So use your footwork that we've been teaching you to get up as quick as you can and then get into a really good position to handball. So you're gonna handball with your right hand Let's put your left foot forward. You're gonna handle with your left hand. Let's put your right foot forward, all right? That's all we need to do. But the idea is as soon as I say go, I want you to get up as quick as you can. Here we go. We've got 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Here we go. All right, lying flat. Time starts, go, get up. Handball, nice work. Back down, all right. And get up, handball, left hand, right foot forward. Nice work, all right. Here we go again, lying flat, and go. Right hand handball, left foot forward. Good, let's do one this way. Back down, lying flat, get up. Left hand handball, good. Right here, lying flat, and get up. Good, good, let's do one more. We're doing the extras today, because we're really fit. Lying flat, ball, go, get up. Right hand handball, nice work. All right, footy get-ups, loving that. Okay, before I send you to the Coles Kitchen, we've got one more exercise, two sets of 30 seconds. All right, you're gonna need your ball. Let's put the ball around, I don't know, if you've got two meters of space, right, put it two meters in front of you. All we're gonna do here is work on our starting footwork, okay? So we're gonna get to the ball as quick as we can, is the idea. So about two meters away, we're gonna fall forward until you start to feel yourself lose a bit of balance, okay? And once you do, I want you to take a step and then pick the ball up. Pretty simple, isn't it? So, I'll give you a demo. So, falling forward, step, pick the ball up. Easy as that, all right? Put the ball back down over here. Same deal from this way. This time when you fall forward, I fell forward last time on my left leg. This time fall forward and get your right leg out. So, falling forward, right leg out, step, go. All right, that's what we're doing. So, falling forward, this really works in your start, okay? Getting that quick feet when you're trying to burst away from a player. Right, set, go. Good. Ball forward, pick the ball up. Ball forward, this time put your right foot out. Good, all right. Ball down, ball back, falling forward, two meters away, left foot this time. Good. Last one, quick feet. Quick feet, Whew. here we are. Last one and we're done. Go, ball forward, pick the ball up. Hey, well done everyone. Give yourself a clap and a high five. High five here, bang, and a high five there, bang. Look forward to seeing what's in the Coles Kitchen today. I'll see you tomorrow, because tomorrow is Fun Friday. See you then. You've never felt so good. Hey there team. 
Back in the kitchen today and have we got a fun recipe for you. We're going to Mexico. We're going to cook up a classic taco. Ooh, tacos. Who doesn't love a taco? You like tacos? You guys yeah. like tacos. Yeah, yeah. tacos. Yeah. We've got Jordan in the kitchen. We've got Archie and we've got Jen. We're going to get in and start cooking tacos. Have you guys had Mexican food before? Yes. You've had yes. a taco before? Yeah. What do you love about Mexican food? It's yum. Yeah, it is yum. Look at the colours. You like the colours? Yeah. That's yeah. Jordan's yeah. Number, That's it. And I love that you get to eat tacos with your hands. Ooh. You know, like it, it, I, for me, eating with the hands is always fun. It gets a little bit messy, mm. but you get to sort of really get involved with the food. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our mince base. A little dash of olive oil to start with, and then we're going to go in with an onion. So just a chopped up onion. We're going to add that in. Lucky we didn't get to chop it up. What, what happens when you chop the onion up yeah, sometimes? Do you know what what happens? Onion? You get teary. Yeah, exactly. Teary. You know, people ask me all the time what my trick is to cut an onion, and I just tell them you've got to try it. If you've tried all of them, you know. Wear glasses, that wear, doesn't work. Wear, wear swimming wear goggles. Wear ski goggles. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to fry our onion off. We're going to add a couple of spices to our onion as well. So there's three classic spices for me in Mexican cooking, um, and they're all really fresh and vibrant and bright. So cumin, it's a, it's a seed, grows on a plant, but if you smell it, it smells like really fresh and zesty. Oh, Give that one a smell. Good. Yeah. So that's, one, like of the, that's one of the classic Mexican flavors. Ooh. If you uh, if you're eating something Mexican, whether it be nachos or tacos or a burrito, it's almost always got cumin in it. And then cumin's best friend is coriander. Now, not like the coriander herb. This is actually the seeds that grow on it. Again, it's a bit nutty and a bit toasty. That's two of them. And then my favorite spice of all time. I use it in everything, almost even on ice cream. Mm -hmm. um, it's smoked paprika. So this is made from capsicums that are picked and smoked. And you give that a smell, it's smoky and a little bit sweet. So it's just ground down capsicum, basically. Yeah, ground down capsicum that has been smoked as well. Why, why do they call it paprika not so? Paprika is a variety of the capsicum. Okay. So it's like a paprika pepper, oh. but it doesn't have a lot of heat. So it's similar to capsicum, it's quite like fresh. And then when you smoke it, it goes really sort of sweet and a little bit roasty. And all you want to do here is just fry off these spices until you start smelling them. And I think in a second, you'll be able to smell that all the spices that you smell, and when you add that little bit of heat to them, they become really aromatic. The more aromats we get out of them, the more flavour we're going to have in our taco. Can you do that? Can you toss them? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good practice. So, that's looking really good. All you want to do at this stage is just soften your onions, and then we're going to go with our beef mince. So we've got 500 grams of beef mince here. We're just going to drop that into our pan. I can oh, already smell it. We're going to... Make a little spice yogurt to go on the top of our tacos. So, uh, do you want to put a spoon, just one spoon of each of those, into that bowl of yogurt, and maybe Jordan yeah. will mix it all together for oh. us? Now, yeah. classically with a taco, yep. one of those spoons. You might have sour cream, but we're going to add yogurt because I really like the the brightness and the zestiness of yogurt. I think it goes really well. You guys like yogurt? That one. Yeah. Yeah. And usually you might have yogurt with fruit, and Good it's boy. usually used quite sweet. But this time we're making our yogurt a bit savoury. So we're going to add a little pinch of salt into our taco mix now as well. Now, what's this one? Uh, corn. You guys like corn? Yeah. yeah. I love corn. That little bit of sweetness that it adds to a dish. And you get those nice pops of texture as well. I also love why, um, how it's like wet. Yeah. It's, it's, it stays nice and juicy, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then what are these two? You know this one? Carrots. Cucumber. No, it's like a cucumber, but it's a little bit firmer. What's, do you know what that one is there? Zucchini. Zucchini, exactly right. So we're going to add them in as well. And we just want to cook these now until the minced meat is cooked, so it's browned all over, and these veggies have softened. I made that mistake a few times. Wife's asked me to go get some zucchinis. I came home with cucumbers. <laughs> it happens quite a lot. It's quite a lot. <laughs> OK, so we're about a minute away from this mixture being ready. Now, Jordan, we've got a few options for our t tortillas. So we do. Classic thing for a, a taco, it has to be wrapped in a tortilla. But we can choose our own adventure with those a little bit. We've got a whole grain option there. Whole, whole grain. Whole and grain. Normal burrito tortilla mix. I like this one. And then we've also got spinach and herb. Yeah, so a nice green one. What do you reckon of that? that sounds healthy. Quite cool, doesn't it, guys? Now, guys, this is the fun bit. Do you want to make a taco each? Yeah. Yeah, why not? So, I'll turn the heat off here. I might be adventurous. I might use a... Yeah, I might. I might go home. I'm with you. Let's go. Well, I might go the... Can you go green? The spinach and herb, okay. just to be different. One, you want this one? Yeah, yeah, of course. And I'll have that one too. Yeah, there we go. Grab a plate. Now, we've got a couple of other garnishes. The best thing about Mexican food is you get to, you get to oh, garnish yours. it with whatever you like. So we've got a bit of lettuce here, some cheese, and then our yogurt. You can choose your own adventure again with topping your tacos, salsa, 
You make a pineapple salsa, you're making a fish taco. I love salsa. Yeah, how good salsa. You can put on uh, different cheeses if you like. You can put on lots of herbs too. So with a spoon, we'll start with the meat. I reckon you go just enough to cover the base. Now, Archie, you want me to put the meat on for you? Yep. Beautiful. And what does it smell like? You get all those spices that we toast off. Can you smell all those? Yeah. It smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. The first thing you do whenever you cook is what? Wash your hands. Exactly right. 20 seconds, give them a good clean. You're good to go. So if you want to put lettuce on there, Arch. Yep. And do you want to put some lettuce on? Do you want to put a bit of cheese on yours maybe, Jen? Do you want, do you want a bit of cheese on yours? No, absolutely. Thank I, you. the, the cheese is the, the fun little bit. If you like it spicy, now you can add hot sauce as well. There's lots of different hot sauces you can add. This one's nice and mild. Arch, chuck a bit of sauce on there, bud. Look at that. I reckon that looks pretty colourful, yeah, don't you? Try. Yeah. You guys want to try it? Yeah. All right. Wrap it up. Give it a go. Nice and fresh and bright. Mm. Arch, mm. tick of approval? Yep. Oh, you're the man. Super easy, super quick, and you can add whatever veggies you like. It's a super fun dish to do. And that's Mexican food. Okay, so we've just finished cooking Mexican. Arch, what did you think? Good. Good. Arch loves it. We love it. So if you can cook a Mexican dish at home or even cook this dish at home, send it in by the link below. I'm loving our culinary trip around the world. Who doesn't love Mexican food? My favourites are chimichangas. Thanks for tuning in, team. I can't wait to hang out with you all tomorrow. We're kicking these health goals out of the park. See you then.